Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is Mirgloff Builds. And in today's video, I'm going to build a bank for the town of Greenstone. And uh, we'll get to that just in a couple of seconds, but uh, for those who uh, want to see what I've done off camera or even uh, see the amount of work that I've gotten done so far at the new town, because I'm uh, hollowing out a space underground to build a underground town, uh, stick stick around after the time lapse of me building the bank. But at the current moment, I'm going to begin building this bank.
All right, the bank of green stone is complete. We'll take a look at the exterior as I illuminate it. And it's just basically uh, half stone slabs and some uh, stone bricks. As the two look really good together and they also look very sturdy and uh, I wouldn't say dystopian, but, oh, come on, there we go. Uh, sturdy, mostly uniform as well. There's a lot of consistency to the structure, and in general, I think banks tend to be consistent. That was noisy. And you can see that I used the... Uh, the feature of uh, upside down stair blocks to make sort of uh, windows that you can interact with the uh, bank tellers with. Originally I put uh, some glass panes there but then I realized you can't really interact through glass so and I tried to do some iron bars but that didn't work. But it ended up using the glass panes for uh, separators as people write their slips of whatever. And I can't really get into here, but those chests are just for the purpose of storing people's stuff. Not literally, but that's what the chests are there for aesthetic reasons. As this bank doesn't have a vault, it's too small of a town to have a serious and complicated vault. And the roof is uh, just half stone slabs again. Mostly to keep mobs from spawning on top of a bank. That's going to be... That's a very important thing. You don't really want to bank somewhere if there's going to be creepers spawning on top and falling on you. And... That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. And... We will now move on to... The area where I'm carving out an underground cavern. And I'll show you the progress I've made on that. Alright, so we're here where I'm working on the next town. This is the amount that I've excavated so far. And I have not begun to use the TNT that I've been collecting from my mob grinder yet. Because uh, I still have to clear off this first layer. But once I've cleared off the first layer, I'm going to uh, mine channels out, sort of uh, like this. Well, that's a bad example. That's got nothing under there. Like this, but a little bit deeper. I think I'm going to mine it three deep and do a grid pattern and line it up with uh, TNT. And the grid pattern, the reason why I have a, I'm not just digging a singular hole and putting TNT in it and light it off, so I want to string it off all at once. And my computer can handle a large amount of TNT being ignited, so that's not an issue. But once I uh, start using the TNT to blast it, I think it's going to go about five times, t five times as fast to clear this out. But I still need to uh, get this down quite a few levels. And this is, it's going to be deeper than this too. I think it's going to end up being about to that floor down there. So I need to clear that space of an area up there all the way down to here. So it's it's very large. And now I'm stuck down here. Dang it. I'll just do that. So it's a large area, so it's a lot more time consuming than I thought it would be. Initially, I thought it would take only about three weeks, but it's been about three weeks since I started. I don't mine at it every day, but when I do mine at it, I spend about two hours at a time. So I've been working on it for about a week now consistently. Although I started it three weeks ago. And it's pretty time consuming. I've said that a bunch of times, but it just is. But it's going to be worth it because it's. I think it's going to be very cool, uh, this town, when I build it. But uh, I th thanks guys for watching. And uh, if you like this video or if you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a comment below and tell me about it. And... Uh, I will either continue to do what I'm doing or make some changes so that you do enjoy them. Thank you for watching.